Hey, what's going on all you beautiful people? Welcome back to my Over the Wire series. Today we're working on Bandit Level 2-3, aka Level 2. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to handle file names that have spaces in them. If you missed my first video in the series, I went ahead and explained I'm not just here to give you the passwords to beat the CTF and get to the last level. If you want that, go back to Google, find those websites that have them out there. I'm here to help build your cybersecurity skill set so that when you get into cybersecurity or when you get that next job, career, you know, whatever it is in cybersecurity, you're prepared to work on Linux operating systems or you're prepared to answer questions during interviews. So I'm going to go ahead and get right in. Let's see here. I'm going to load up Bandit 2 because that's the level we're on. I've already got my password here. Yeah, you know, that's what I do. Got the password here. Go ahead and paste that in. Hit enter. And while that's loading up, let's read the description they have here. So it says the password for the next level is stored in a file called spaces in this file name located in the home directory. So if you found this video because you've already tried to cat out spaces in this file name and you know you, you see cat trying to open up uh, or Linux trying to open up four different files, you're familiar with the problem here. So on the command line, when we Let's first list it out so we can see spaces in this file name. There's the file. If we try to cat this out, and we're going to type it out by hand in this file name, first thing it does is it reports back four different times. Cat can't find this file, this file, this file, this file. Because the Linux operating system, not knowing what you're trying to do, sees four different words, four different human readable words, and says those must be four different files. I'm going to try and open up all four of them. So. The easiest way around this is to cat and then start typing spaces and then hit tab. If you didn't know this already, tab auto completes. When it also it auto completes, it also auto escapes characters that the command line interpreter has trouble with, like the space. So there you go. I hit tab and as you can see there, it says cat spaces backslash. That's the escape character and the escape character tells Linux, ignore the very next character that follows or the space in this instance. And then it goes in, backslash, ignore the character, blah, 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 so on and so forth. So at this point, we can go ahead, hit enter. And as you can see there, because we use the, the tab autocomplete and it auto escaped those uh, spaces, you can get in there. Now, the other way of doing this is, uh, let's see if I can remember this. I think uh, you can wrap it in double quotes and then reference the absolute path. If we do it this way, maybe not. Hmm, how did I do that earlier? So let's see. Now wrap it. Hmm. Give me a moment. I'll remember this. I'll figure it out. If not, I'm going to go to Google. Because that's what every good engineer does, right? Let's look at there's There is there is single quotes, but I have a feeling that won't work. Because I have tried that before. So let's try single quotes. Spaces in this file name. Mm, I'm wrong. It worked. Okay. I don't know what I was doing before, but as you can see there, cat and then a uh, single quote, a back tick, whatever you want to call it, on each side uh, escapes. It tells Linux literally cat everything that's inside of these two single quotes uh, is one file. Cat the contents of that file and dump it out on the command line. So there you go. Another over the wire bandit series. Again, I hope this is helping you get a little more comfortable and get some explanation around why these commands do what they do on the Linux command line. I know when I started and these are basically videos to old me, me who, who didn't know that much about Linux. I mean, I still don't know that much about Linux. I know enough to be dangerous. These are videos to old me. So if there's people out there that are like me, you know, you, you started from nothing and you're working your way up, you're hitting YouTube, you're hitting Google, you're looking for help. I'm here to help you. Uh, consider subscribing to this channel where I'm going to be making more videos like this one as well as other topics that are interesting to people like you. And if you don't know who I am, finally, my name is Chris Ray. I'm with InfoSec for Humans where I help you level up your cybersecurity career.